This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. So moving on, I'm going to look at what's known as the tax point. So it is very important to correctly identify the time of supply or tax point, as this determines when the output VAT will be due. So there are some rules. The VAT rules that determine the tax point in respect of the supply of goods is as follows. So the basic tax point is the date the goods were available to the customer or services were completed. However, if an invoice is issued or payment is received before that date, that becomes what's known as the actual. So we have our basic here. So that's the first one. It may become actual if an invoice is received, invoice is issued, or payment is received before um, the um, goods are made available. The other one, if an invoice is issued within 14 days of the goods or services being made available, the invoice usually becomes the actual. So I hope that makes sense. Okay, so some more major points that we need about output and input VAT. Um, exam points regarding output VAT and input VAT when it comes to calculating the output VAT and the input VAT. VAT is chargeable on the actual amount received where a discount is offered for prompt payment. Be careful of that. If the discount is not taken, VAT is charged on the full sale price. If it's taken, then VAT is based on the discounted price. Relief for impaired debts is only available if the, uh, the VAT has been accounted for, paid, and the debt must be over six months old. Okay, and then you reclaim that as input VAT on the VAT return to claim that back. Input VAT cannot be covered by a business in respect of entertaining UK clients or on cars unless they're 100% for business purposes. An input VAT cannot be recovered on any private use of the business. Now, how does that work in practice? Let's have a look at example number four. We have here Rose Limited, who is registered for VAT, standard rated, so she's charging tax at 20%. This is her quarter to the 31st of March 2024. Standard rated sales amounted to 120,000, offers its customers a 5% discount for prompt payment and half of them took that advantage. Standard rated purchases and expenses were 35,640, including 480 for entertaining. Okay, so we need to be aware of that. So in this situation, we're going to have to split the sales. Okay, because of that first rule. This is going to have to be deducted. Obviously, because um, we can't have that. Now, there's a... Re Irrecoverable debts for the 10th of May and the 5th of December. So we need to just check which one of those is over six months. Okay, 31st of March. So these are fairly significant ones, are they not? I think that should say three. I think that should say three. Yeah, I think that should say three. We'll check that out when we look at the answer. On the 31st of March 2024, the company purchased a car at the cost of 16450 for use by the salesperson and some machinery of 21150 Both of those are inclusive of VAT. That's important. It's going to have an effect. Now, the car is used for both business and private. Okay. 
unless otherwise stated all the above figures are exclusive of that so we've got to now work out the VAT payable in that situation now some of these things are easier than others and again as I've said with all the other chapters set up your pro forma with all the items those five the, the items that are, are, are read are explained to you in the question do the easy ones the ones you can do straight away and then stop and think about the ones that are a little bit more difficult so let's have a look how that would work out in practice so this is a VAT return okay for a quarter to the 31st of March 24 and we are going to deal with first the output VAT okay the output VAT do you remember the sales was 120,000 now half of that is at 20% because they didn't take the um, the full discount and half of it is at 95% only because they took a 5% discount and then that is multiplied by 20% which gives us 11,400 see how I split that and obviously this here you could put a little working on the side <coughs> 100% minus 5% and you could write discount which would then show the examiner and the marker clearly that you've understood the process that goes on with that input that so that's the fairly straightforward um, part of of this question we also have another fairly uh, important uh, fairly um, easy part so the purchases now, if you remember, they were 35,640. And why did we take off 480? Okay, we took that off because that was entertaining, that isn't allowed. And the total of 35,160 is then multiplied by 20% because that's the input that. So that is 7032. And again, you've got workings here make sure you show exactly what you've done uh, to vary various different things so irrecoverable debt this is where i thought one of the dates might be wrong and then we've got the machinery okay now first things first what have i not put in here i haven't yet put in the car okay not 100% business so therefore I cannot recover don't ignore the car okay you can't reclaim the VAT now you could either put it in there in the computation or you could put it on one side or you could put it as a note at the bottom okay so the irrecoverable debt the one that we can do is the 2001 at 20% so I'm going to go back and I'm going to have a check of the notes to check which one of those is that one that's this one okay so that one we can claim because it's old so that should be a three yeah I was right so that's an error on my part but now you can make an amendment in your notes um, for that to be the case So you can see there we've put the machinery in. Let me change my pen colour so you can see what I've done. The machinery was that inclusive. So there's a slightly different calculation there. And then when you add all of this up together, when you do the VAT output and you take off the input, you end up with VAT payable of 12,443 and that's the due date that it needs to be paid so let's go back to the notes if you are a refund when you work that out um, subject to a, f uh, a refund that has been overpaid 
is subject to a four year time limit. Okay, you're never going to get that in an exam, so don't worry about it. Now, motor expenses. Input VAT can be recovered where fuel is used for private mileage, either by the sole trader or an employee. Um, but output VAT must be accounted for. Output VAT is calculated according to a scale charge based on the car's CO2 emission. Now, that is VAT inclusive and will be given to you in the exam. You don't have to work that out. So, provided there is some business use input back can be recovered on repairs to a car so we have here number five example number five poppy plc is to provide one of its directors with a car which can be used both privately and for business purposes and they will pay all the running costs including the petrol and the repairs the relevant vat quarterly scale charge is that for the quarter to March 24 based on those CO2 emissions. So again, they've given you that figure as um, explained there. And we are to state the VAT treatment of the cost of petrol and repairs for the quarter ended 31st of March. For the quarter ended the 31st of March 2024, Buttercup had output VAT of 12.4 an input fat of 71 so their quarter 31st of March must be submitted by the 7th of May you can see that being a multiple choice question by what date must the 31st of March VAT return be done and then they'll give you one two three four 31st of March 24 okay which is the wrong date they might give you the 31st of January 25 which is when the VAT uh, the tax returns have to be in just to confuse you then they may give you uh, the 30th of April which is one month which also may confuse you and then they'll give you the 7th of May 24 so you can see that you have to pick out to, you can dismiss those two straight away um, and then you would be able to work out which one um, is correct um, now, because it's all self-assessed, as I explained, they make what's known as control visits um, when they come and check the accuracy. They do have powers of entry. Um, now, you can submit monthly returns um, if you want to. It's not very often that anyone happens. Um, and then if your VAT, your VAT exceeds 2.3 million, then you have to make those VAT returns once a month because obviously they want the VAT from you. So what does a VAT invoice have to look like? Because it has to be very specific because obviously it has to include certain details. So let's have a look at that now. Um, you have to give us a, a, an invoice within 30 days. So we have Daffodil here. Only sells goods and at present issues sales invoices that shows one, the invoice date and the invoice number, and two, the type of supply. Three, the quantity and description of the goods supplies. Four, their name and address. And five, the name and address of the customer. And they don't offer a discount for that uh, for prompt payment. They want to know the additional information that it will have to show for make it valid for VAT purposes. So you've got to have on there the VAT registration number, the tax point, which is either the issue date or the date that the goods are available, the rate of VAT, because it's either 20% or it's 0%. So you've got to show that. The VAT exclusive amount, then the VAT total for each supply, and then the total amount of VAT that is payable and again you can see that as a multiple choice kind of question in an exam what do I need to include on my VAT return in order to make it um, acceptable to the revenue